Welcome to Let's Fix It Right. As aggressive insects with nasty stings, bees and wasps can sting you by surprise or ruin a gathering with your family and friends, especially if these bees and wasps are trying to build a nest near you. Consequently, this episode provides you an inexpensive and effective solution for controlling these unwelcome pests. Last summer, on two occasions, our mailman asked me to remove a wasp nest from inside our mailbox. Both times, our mailman, who I consider a good friend, was almost stung after opening our mailbox and trying to insert our mail. Consequently, this was a huge embarrassment to my wife and me. I opened up our mailbox, removed the wasp nest, sprayed the inside of the box with a high pressure water hose, and let the box dry. Next, I sprayed the inside with this chemical wasp repellent and killer. Approximately one month later, the wasp returned, so I repeated this process again. For some reason, they like setting up home inside our mailbox. Consequently, I needed a better and more effective solution to keep wasps out of our mailbox. After talking to some friends, I decided to try using dryer sheets to repel wasps as well as bees from all of our problem areas to include our mailbox, covered patio table, and glider near our backyard fountain. Much to my surprise, dryer sheets work perfectly, so I'll take you through my step-by-step -step process that I recently developed for each one of these areas. Evidently, bees and wasps dislike the strong scent of dryer sheets. Consequently, they will not fly anywhere near them and, most importantly, attempt to build a nest near a dryer sheet. In addition to other areas, such as a picnic site, you can spread the sheets around the picnic area, give the sheets to guests to put in their pockets or rub the scent on their skin and clothing, or simply hang your dryer sheets around your picnic area to repel the bees and wasps. To do this, you'll need this brand or similar brand of dryer sheet, painter's tape for short-term applications such as one day, or you can use Gorilla Tape for long-term applications. In addition, after your dryer sheets lose their scents, you can change your sheets or soak them in a fabric conditioner, let them dry, and use them over and over again. For links to these items, go to the description below and select Show More. For my mailbox insulation, I installed a dryer sheet on each of the three inside walls of the mailbox as well as on the inside of the mailbox door. I secured each dryer sheet with two pieces of Gorilla Tape to the inside of the mailbox so our mailman doesn't have to worry about inadvertently knocking them off when he inserts the mail. Once again, I'm using Gorilla Tape for this long-term installation. Okay, so that completes our installation inside the mailbox. We previously used this wasp and hornet killer to control bees and wasps in and around our patio table. As you know, this stuff is very nasty and can be dangerous, especially near food and drinks in your dining area. Instead, you can tape a dryer sheet on each of the four corners of your patio table with painter's tape similar to this. With the sheets taped in position, the wind and our ceiling fans can't blow them off the table. They last approximately one to two weeks. However, if you expose them to rain or humidity, they will not last very long. Also, to save money, you can re-soak them with fabric softener and substantially extend their lives. In addition, you can leave them taped in place when applying this fabric softener. Lastly, after your get-together is over, you can remove the sheets and potentially reuse them for your next outside meal. The last area where we use this bee and wasp protection is our outside glider next to our outdoor water fountain.
This concludes this episode where I provided you an easy, inexpensive, and effective solution for controlling unwelcome bees and wasps. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time, I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. With all of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.